Hello everyone, welcome to the Solid House. This is the fourth video of the gearbox design. In this video, I am going to design two bearing locks. Ok, let's start to design with me. First of all, we have to draw a sketch like this way. Go to the sketch and make a sketch on front plane or right plane. I am going to start from front plane. Ok, select front plane as the sketch. Then draw a sketch by using lines with the horizontal and vertical lines. Draw a sketch like this way. Right click select and again draw a center line from the origin like this way. Right. This is the time create a smart dimension go to the smart dimension and make dimensions the distance from this line to this point is equal to 55 divided by 2 it means 27.5 millimeters the length of this line is equal to 5 millimeters this is 6 millimeters and also this is equal to 37 divided by 2 it means 18.5 millimeters okay the sketch is fully defined one it is it is mentioned in below okay then go to the features we have to select revolve bus yes axisor revolution is selected as this line okay then select on this surface and make an sketch on that one right click sketch okay then draw a circle from the origin the diameter of this circle is equal to 28 millimeters then I'm going to cut by using extruded cut the distance is equal to 6.5 millimeters 6.5 millimeters the depth of the cut is equal to 6.5 millimeters okay the end condition is blind all the parameters selected like this way and click on ok right you can see the eyes are cut in the part then I am going to make some chamfer on this edge and also this edge the distance is equal to 1.0 millimeters ok then I am going to make some bolt holes on this surface so I need to create a sketch on that surface and draw a circle like this way then right click on the drawn circle and click on construction geometry and the dimension we have to select so the diameter of the circle is equal to 46 millimeters then make some points like this way okay I need select I make one point and exit the sketch then go to the features and select hole wizard select hole type is hole standard is ANSI metric the type of hole is screw clearance then we have to select hole specifications the size of hole 
is m6 normal fit is normal end condition is through all then select positions click on 3d sketch and make a hole on the created point okay then I need make six holes so in that case I'm going to create a circular pattern direction one I need select this edge in the feature is selected the created hole the number of hole is equal to six then click on click on equal spacing okay you can see the preview is created there are six holes then click on okay right the part is created already created then i need to make some appearance it means i have to add colors uh, the green color is suitable so i have added green color then click on ok ok the one bearing block is created like this way and we need to create another bearing lock for in that case I need to open new part like this way and I have to make a sketch on front plane right click on front plane and click on sketch and draw a sketch as the previous case I don't mention because I have explained in previous case so smart dimension this is equal to 27.5 millimeters this is equal to 5 millimeters this is 6 and finally this is 18.5 okay the sketch is fully defined one then go to the features and create revolt boss the axis of revolution is this line okay then go to the chamfer i need to create two chamfers on this edge and this edge the distance is equal to 1.0 millimeters and also angle is 45 degrees okay then i need to create a cut on this surface so I have to create a sketch on that one and draw a circle from the origin smart dimension the diameter is equal to 28 millimeters as the previous one okay then I have to create extruded cut the depth is equal as the previous one it is 6.5 millimeters okay and also i need to create six bolt holes on this plane so i am going to create a sketch on that surface and draw make a point this is the time to create smart dimensions the distance from this origin is equal to 23 millimeters then select this point and origin point make as vertical okay then exit the sketch go to the hole wizard and make a hole as the previous one so i don't mention 
these things because I I have explained those things in previous part so the hole is created then I need to add a circular pattern for create six holes direction is selected like this way and all the parameters were set as the previous case equal spacing number of holes six these are created then click on ok ok this is the same part as the previous one so I make some different thing in this part for in that case I create a sketch on this surface and draw a circle from the origin which has diameter twenty one millimeters. Okay. Then I cut a hole by using extruded cut. End condition is through hole. Okay. Then I need to create chamfers on these two edges which has 0 0.5 millimeter distance okay this is the second bearing lock then I need to add some colors this is also a green color one right click clear selection and select part then select green color and click on this part okay the color is added okay there are two bearing blocks were created like this way hope you enjoy this video see you next time thank you all